See who just sold food stamps to buy heroin. Arrested for welfare fraud. Part of President Trump's plan to improve America has to do with reducing wasteful spending. Cracking down on welfare fraud is at the top of the list. Of course, reducing the flow of dangerous illegal drugs across our southern borders is a high priority as well. And Trump has, to, uh, has a fix for that too. However, when you combine welfare fraud with the use of illegal drugs, like heroin, we end up with a twofold problem. A Pennsylvania woman who sold her food stamp snap card on Facebook for half its $194 monetary value in order to buy heroin was just arrested for welfare fraud. The Daily Caller reported authorities charged a woman who sold her food stamps in order to score heroin and 63 other Pennsylvania residents with welfare fraud Monday. The State Inspector General's office alleged, alleges that the defendants cost Pennsylvania roughly $285,000 by ripping off medical assistance p benefits, food programs, and state daycare services. One woman, 25-year-old Dana R. Pryor, is accused of selling her food stamps to buy heroin and helping another woman to do the same reports Penn Live. That's sad, actually. This is quite sad. Pryor allegedly aided Tanya Keenan Mack February 6 when she used Facebook to sell her state access card for $100, which held a $194 of supplemental nutrition assistance program benefits. My food stamps at half price. Read the Facebook post. I'm looking to sell them ASAP. Pryor also sold an access card February 18th without Facebook, which held a $107 in benefits. In both cases, the women used their profits to buy $30 of heroin. Pryor is charged with uh, misdemeanor fraud and faces up to five years in prison if convicted. She will also be disqualified from receiving any future welfare benefits if found guilty. President Trump wants to focus on reducing waste by eliminating as much welfare fraud as possible. Under the Obama administration, welfare roles grew by thou the thousands because of his socialist philosophy of redistribution of wealth. Millions of dollars have been wasted on people who just removed themselves from the workforce because they could get free money from the government. Now that is going to change under Trump and millions of liberal snowflakes are none too happy about it. We conservatives, however, are ecstatic. Uh, no, I'm not ecstatic about that because once they're addicted to that, that's a big problem and, um, and that is a big, very big problem and if they have children and they're addicted and they're doing this, I mean, uh, they need help. And uh, I guess in prison they'll get some help, but um, I'm not ecstatic about that. I'm not at all. Let us know what you think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.